Hibs versus Rangers, match preview, fourth game of the season, the league table is as follows, of course, Celtic and Rangers uh, joint at the top on nine, Rangers just off the back of that two each draw against PSV, Eidenhoven, where I thought it was pretty lacklustre, but hey, we'll gloss over it, I mean, it was two mistakes at the end of the day, well, I mean, three mistakes, uh, four goals, um, so on the night, 1-0 should have ended, but it didn't, and uh, we've got to take that to... Eidhoven, uh, no Amsterdam as some people would say, but it is what it is and we've got to keep that momentum going and that starts with Hibs. Hibs are currently sitting sixth, a win, a draw and a loss, uh, to be honest they're lucky to get a draw, scoring 97th minute against Hearts, Hearts should have had that game won and then the game Hibs won, who the, who the fuck did Hibs beat? I can't even remember who Hibs beat, I mean they got beat by Livingston in the last game, I'm trying to think who Hibs actually beat, was it? I don't know, was it Ross County first game game week? Might have been Ross County. Not 100% sure, but we've got to go into the team news for this game. And as as follows, Giovanni van Bronckhorst may look to freshen up his Rangers side with the second leg of the Champions League playoff against PSV Eidenholm to come on Wednesday. But I mean, it's all good saying this, like, but it's a wet Easter. It's not like it's a home game against you know Ross County. Any disrespect to Ross County, but I feel like you could make a lot of changes, um, to be honest. But... Be interested to see what we're doing. Could Morelos start potentially? Says here, uh, Ben Davies missed the two each first leg draw. At Ibrox went on specific, uh, unspecified injury, so he could be back. But um, says Holanda remains out, and so's Haji. Haji's been sidelined since January after suffering cruciate ligament damage. Haji's been out for ages. I mean, there was talk of him getting back potentially, making a spot on the bench for the Europa League final. And that's like three months ago. So what the f- what's going on? I don't really know what's going on, uh, to be honest. But the good news is, recent form for Rangers has been uh, very good because, well, I mean, at Easter Road, um, they're unbeaten in their last 20 games. Uh, 13 draws. No, 13 draws. 13 wins, 7 draws. But we need to go for a win. No two ways about it. Um, this is top flight, I'm going to assume in the championship man because it's that year we were absolutely shy I'm going to assume Hibs beat us in the championship at least once at Easter Road um, but I mean that's 16 years uh, based almost to the day in September 2006 that uh, Rangers are undefeated at Easter Road and I'm expecting the same I don't think it Hibs aren't very good you know I don't think they are they've brought in that manager I mean they've brought in a bunch of new signings I mean they've kept the hold of like Nisbet and shit but they have lost quite a few you know like Josh Doidge and uh, all that stuff, but Rangers are going to have too much for Hibs. I don't see Hibs getting anything for this game. If Rangers play it professional and all that, need to build momentum like me, because if, I mean, if Rangers drop points here, that just almost kills any chance I think they've got against PSV. I mean, it's not like if they draw here or Hibs beat them, like there's zero chance they'll get anything against PSV, but you know, you need momentum here. With the old firm game coming up, I mean, we've got this game within the PSV game, within a game against Ross County at home, which you're expected to win. You know, you could be going into that Celtic game, even if we draw here, say you beat Ross County, two points behind, and if Celtic win, it's a massive five fucking points. I mean, that's massive at this stage of the season. But, and by that Celtic game, it would be the sixth match day. Can't be five points behind at that stage. I know I'm saying if we get beat, but yeah, that old firm is at Parkhead. But in terms of this game, in terms of goal scores, I'm going to go with 2-0. I'm going to go with Tav and Morelos to get the goals. I'm going to go for a penalty. Hibs love, love giving away a penalty. Porteous, he'll do something like that. And Morelos, I think he'll get a goal. Um, I'd be interested to see, though, if he features Kolak or Tillman or any of the people guaranteed starters for uh, Wednesday. But, yeah, interesting to see nonetheless. But until next time, 2-0, there's the goal scores, and peace.